the first day that I reported to the National Security Agency was 9-11. This is just a horrific scene. It was crisis. Second power, the front power. But it became clear within a space of a few days that this was not a normal crisis. Once we were in the war on terrorism, there was definitely a sea change. I was told that the CIA had begun a program that they were calling enhanced interrogation techniques. I had a visceral problem with it. I was hearing very disturbing information. Even the heads of state in these countries didn't know that we had these secret prisons there. We would now instrument the United States of America for the purposes of dragnet blanket electronic surveillance on a vast scale. There is information that the public in a functioning democracy has a right to know. There's a difference between leaking and whistleblowing. What I blew the whistle on was government illegality. I could not live with myself knowing that another human being could be put to death because I kept my mouth shut. They're now engaged in an active cover-up at the highest levels. He looked at the file and said, very matter-of-factly, this file has been purged. It wasn't until I was about an hour into this interview that I realized, wait a minute, they're investigating me. I'm the one who ends up having to hire a team of lawyers charged with leaking top secret information. They set the target. They put the bullseye on me. It said, we're going to make an example of him. I'm fighting to have my September 10th country back.